How's it going, Noisegate family? It's your boy Tom here. Welcome to our third and final episode of our How to Start Your Own Podcast mini series. Today, we're going to get into how to properly process and edit your audio, and we're just going to jump straight into live and get started on that. So, we've got some audio from episode two here. I'm going to use it as an example to show you guys how to properly edit your audio. We have the dialogue in the pink track here, and in the orange, we have that pre recorded silence or room tone as it's known. The first thing to do is to remove any click, pop, rumble, breath that doesn't sit beneath dialogue. So I'm going to go ahead and find one of those now and show you how to cut them out. Now, so we don't need to hear that. It doesn't need to be there. You can click this bar on the top and hold with your left click and you can drag the mouse up and down to zoom in. So I'm going to zoom right in on that part we just listened to. Now, so anything after that I don't need. So you can just hold left click again and drag it across to highlight this area. And then click delete. Then you want to add some fades on either side of the section that you just removed. And let's have a listen. Now. That mute button is. So that's, that's okay, but we still hear me handling the mic after I say now. So I'm just going to gr grab this and make that fade a lot sharper. Now, that mute button. Is and this is where the room tone comes into play. If I mute that room tone track. Now, that mute button is. It goes to complete silence, and this can be jarring. So we throw that in there. Now, that mute button. We can even bring this down a bit, the room tone. So this is our individual track gain right here. Now, that mute button is important because when you listen... It needs to be barely audible. Now, that mute button is important because when you... So that's a good level. So you want to go through and you want to do what I just did here, but for every single thing like that rumble. So I'm going to do that now and do a little time lapse for you guys and I'll see you on the other side. Once you've done all the editing, your audio should look something like this. The next step is processing. We've made a podcast processing rack that you guys will be able to download from the Noisegate website. So you can download that one and just click, drag it, and drop it onto your dialogue track. We've preset all these parameters for you, but I'll go through what each thing does just so you're aware. Uh, an EQ removes unwanted frequency content from a recording. A compressor makes the loud parts quieter and the quiet parts louder. It evens out the volume throughout the whole recording. And the limiter is a tool that stops the volume from going past the threshold that you set. So in this case, we've set it to negative one, so it won't go past that volume. It helps tame any crazy peaks or anything like that. There's only one parameter that you'll need to change, and that's the threshold on your compressor. You'll want to find a loud part so you can see where these waveforms get quite large. Find that if you go too close, there'll be a lot of bass in your voice. And you just want to get a little bit of that orange here in the middle, that gain reduction. You're going to have to move this one for every recording and for every different person because the dynamics of our voices change from person to person. Once you've set your threshold, the next step is checking your loudness. So if you press tab, it'll bring you to this screen and you want to come over to this, which is your master channel. And you want to listen through the whole podcast and make sure that this number doesn't go past negative one. It shouldn't because you have the limiter, but you never know what might happen. If you have it sitting between negative one and negative three, once you've listened through the whole thing, that's a good level to be. It may be a bit loud, but most platforms when you upload something to them they have an algorithm that'll bring everything to the same loudness if it's too quiet it won't bring it up but if it's too loud it'll bring it down so aim to just be a little bit louder than than quieter once you've gone through that and you've checked that this is sitting between that negative one negative three area you can export come up to file you go to export audio and video we can see here that our 
recording finishes just before 137, I like to just give myself a little bit of room. So I'll go ahead and type 137 into this window. And you want this one to be one because you want it to start at the start. Set your sample rate to 48 and your bit depth to 24. The Lyra is the most affordable USB microphone that can record at this quality. You've set all these, so now you can hit export. It'll tell you where you want to do it. I'll drop it on my desktop and overwrite this. We just wait for it to render. And your file will be sitting where you put it. So right here, this one here, you'll be able to use this and upload it to your chosen podcasting platform. What a wild ride it's been. We laughed, we cried, but most importantly, I think we learned something. If you got any questions, throw them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and always hit that like button for me.